how tech in the classroom can transform engineering colleges and learning because we see the tech is moving really fast compared to the academic world and how do you see this uh, tech evolving into the classroom and how is this going to enhance or improve the education so mm -hmm. check regard we can get started yeah good afternoon one and all so uh, to evolve i think i uh, start i mean we run engineering colleges so i can tell about uh, how we are uh, performing in our college so we start doing it right from the first year by teaching them the basics of a computer science language it could be c now it's python for example so when we teach them we don't teach them as a subject uh, we teach them as a language where uh, we make them practice a lot we teach them how to solve the problems not to learn the format of the program see like how do you solve it first the algorithm identifying the problem how to solve it you know and uh, how to approach that one and you know find the solution so we put them in the labs especially from the past uh, few years before like you know they used to learn and uh, spend little bit of time in the lab but now most of their time is in the laboratory solving various several problems for example uh, we have about 800 to 1000 problems for our first years where uh, we throw it to the students and they solve it there are students i think uh, charan can say who solved more than 600 problems also so it's a challenge for them like you know who does the most so uh, by spending more time in the lab and solving you now they can improve their tech knowledge definitely in your case right like in like nasarapet being in a tier 2 city right like they don't have the exposure that uh, they get in hyderabad right like first of all and then the socio economic status academic backgrounds and all that how do you see this as a unique problem for like uh, nec college got any other college in right right i mean so unlike triple uh, it's or iits where they are more into research see in our case uh, the performance is measured by placements so 99% of the parents they look at like you know our placements track record like you know which companies are coming to the campus like you know uh, what are the packages so what is they think their son career is just a job so we definitely have to move it in that way you know to be with parents definitely right so we train for the placements right from the beginning uh, starting from you know the communication and uh, again the skill level and uh, the student caliber is definitely different from top iits to down to tier 2 cities when you look at their mcit ranks for example we get students uh, 10000 to 20000 and uh, there are certain colleges like university campuses get like below 5000 so triple it is get below 2000 1000 you know like that so definitely their uh, thought process is different so they are like completely into like you no know, study mode all these uh, rankers about 10000 or 20000 they want to buy hard things that's how they are being prepared in their uh, plus 1 plus 2 like 11th and 12th grade that has become a major challenge for us because uh, everything they expected from the faculty staff to cover from like uh, chapter 1 to chapter 8 completely first page to last page and uh, that was their expectation when i first entered like you no know, few years ago slowly we cut it down like you know even the faculty used to think sir why are you wasting time on training we need to cover syllabus they used to take 18 weeks per semester to cover the entire subject i mean each subject they used to take 18 hours so slowly i need to change the faculty mindset and also the student mindset so now we have come down to like 14 weeks of teaching four weeks of skill training so within uh, that 14 uh, weeks also what i have done is like you know i added couple of uh, crt related skill based subjects 
because the they want to know everything in the subject form if i say some special class or some special training if i say like uh, some entrepreneurial activities people might not come out so if i put that in that format then the students will show the interest so our uh, way of approach is little different but uh, obviously the outcome is job and now as he said like you know uh, there are not that many jobs we were talking earlier see there are only like 15 20% jobs for the engineers obviously uh, the skilled ones get the job others they don't so we started our incubation center where they can you know come up with their own ideas we started telling them why do you want to be employed or you start a company and employ few with that concept uh, we have come and you know started an incubation center in the campus there are uh, few uh, in the incubation stage we are supporting them even the dst supported uh, they like sponsored some 2 crore worth to us so uh, in addition to the jobs i am trying to add you know the incubational activities and also some skill training so i even encourage them to do their own business they think i just finish the degree go take care of my parents business or something right so we tell them like okay even for that you need the skill you are going there to improve or develop the business not to just sit and uh, watch somebody collecting the cash or you know somebody selling so that's how we try to skill like you know in different levels we uh, make the students into batches some into like we want them to get into development companies like you know uh, software development some into service industries like tcs infosys you know and uh, some into incubation entrepreneurial activities we try to team them up you know uh, with a different skill level from idea to marketing and you know technology we try to group of course they come up with their own groups otherwise uh, our incubation center uh, in charge you know the ceo they group based on the student skill and you know they learn the teamwork all that stuff you know yeah this is how you know we take care so santosh ji to that mm. i i don't think even an iit or preparatory very different it does the job of okay okay students parents especially and also most students at the end of the care only for the job they don't yeah. care for the knowledge exactly they don't care for what they learn what they do how they do they only care for the job is a development company what the salary right that's all <laughs> and unfortunately i mean like exactly, exactly. Yeah. mindset is no different so, so probably in coming years you know that will change you know hopefully <laughs> <laughs> recently there was this ready committee report which said uh, i think central government also approved saying that uh, i think it's better to enhance the existing colleges rather than creating new colleges and all that but we do still see some colleges are coming and all that stuff so i i want like each one of your opinion on this one like what do you th- what is your take on it right like uh, uh, to think about how to uh, enhance and empower the existing colleges or right like uh, is is it good that uh, we have to create a new blood stream or something just want to understand your thought process on that well said then uh, you know uh, see uh, how many students are looking for quality and are they ready to pay for it for example like you know iits triple it is they spend uh, about 2 to 1 and a half lakh rupee per student per year or maybe more than that 3 lakhs whereas uh, private engineering colleges some of course uh, varies from state to state the max i know is about 1.6 lakh least is 35000 so we should definitely invest for the quality but who is going to be ready to take that uh, loss that huge loss if it is break even nobody would uh, care because definitely service is the first motto of course people expect some returns because of their investment time efforts lot of other things so that is the difficult situation in private sector not everybody is ready to invest and uh, yeah we should definitely allow the new players because there may be somebody who really wanted to invest lot of money some people they want to spend like hundreds of crores to start an institution out of passion so we should do that but, but in a controlled way and again private colleges we cannot generalize uh, to improve the quality because it's linked to their fees and that is linked to the government incentives so as long as it's linked to the government incentive you can never you know 
it's very difficult i can say never it's very difficult very few can do that so because i know we are struggling like even to pay salaries since we are established in other sectors uh, we were able to pay on time salaries and all what about somebody who has just a college that is the only source how are they going to you know pay the salaries spend for the infrastructure the quality and again the professors again uh, they range from 20000 per month to 3 4 lakhs 5 lakhs per month so how are we going to accommodate that kind of uh, quality so that is a big question and i would definitely say we need uh, you know new players like tech mahindra started one beautiful campus maybe some big corporates government should look at who is starting what is their plan how much is the investment things like that it's not like okay you just give the college they invest 10 crores start a college they can never give quality okay. since i am a placement uh, uh, director i am asking the question relating to placements only uh, in 90s and uh, in, in, the, in the beginning of 2000 the campus placement is like this only paper based only quant raised and verbal correct in the papers announce the results that's all after that you no know, computer based test again quant raising and verbal again short listing and then thanks to tcs tcs for introducing code beta then the entire scenario changed to competitive coding thanks to wipro introducing a concept known as the project based learning through talent next program that scenario changed and thanks to pandemic completely changed offline to entire uh, online system online ecosystem now again with this scenario uh my question to all the panel members uh is what may be the next uh, step for uh, the placement scenario how it will be like internship like you know mentioned by mr chakri about incubations how it will go how can you guide us yeah i mean uh, i think uh, right now the job market may be little bit low down maybe that's why you might be thinking like what is the future but i would say it's not going to die definitely the number of jobs is going to go up year by year maybe after 6 to 8 months you know even microsoft is laying off it's not because they don't have business or you know it's just sentiment if microsoft lay off uh, you know some people then the small companies will also try to save some money by laying off but uh, definitely the jobs are going to be there and uh, again uh, the skilled people you know there is a point i mean a time when everybody got a job regardless of their skill because they want number of people later really they realize because once they say put it uh, to a yes client they look at a quality then they realized okay we need a quality people so for quality students there is definitely a good future and career and again uh, coming to that uh, 12th grade or uh, degree you know few years ago companies like techm and these people they started hiring more degree students thinking they can give three lakh package i mean 50 60000 less <laughs> no they started hiring but what happened they stopped doing that because they don't have that skill see once they talk to the 12th graders they will know their quality you know their attitude and uh, their age you know they, it's young basically 12th grade see in the engineering four years we know what kind of efforts we are putting whatever outcome they are seeing right now they may be thinking it's bad or excellent but that is where it started Positive you know yeah there are so many changes happened we were uh, training them in many ways you know like communication or their attitude culture there are many things so i definitely think the market is going to be there and again we need to assess every like uh, six months every year we need to get in touch with the corporate all the time see what they are looking for and uh, if not jobs again higher studies if not higher studies the entrepreneurship see we try to do as he said like you know we try to do our best if there are no jobs no jobs like even during our time like out of 70 computer science students only 6 7 people got jobs srm which is a top university now they they never provided jobs at that time so it just even parents go by time if all the colleges are not providing jobs what will they do they just do stop asking about jobs if there are some colleges uh, you know providing many jobs and some no then they try to prefer going to the best college so i mean as always we try our best and uh, skill them we teach the life skills 
and if not in the campus they will go out of the campus and you know search down their own one question from the side sure quick one this is about the finishing school uh, i am more on the recruitment side the placement side where they are placing people into the company and seventy uh, percent of them, not even they don't even know what they have written in their own resume because somebody else must have prepared their resume or some online resume. They just submit, and when you ask them the question of their own resume, they don't know. So, is there anything that you would like to throw light on that you are doing that uh, all can be done uh, that will help solve this problem? And I'm not saying this bad. We get to twenty. That's a different story. That the uh, strong candidates are in there, but. Institutions like ours, there where 50, 60 percent of the star of student body is like that. So, is there any program that you are running? Yeah. What you're saying is true uh, because they don't focus much on that. They even copy somebody's resume, change the name. Some people, they even forget to change the name. So, <laughs> that's, uh, these things are happening. But yeah, I mean, uh, see, they need corporate interaction, number one. See, like we need to, of course, we do some, but of course, we, need, we also need to improve. We need to bring the corporate HR people or, you know, some managers, interact with the students, you know, at that way, they will know like what market is, how the market is, what they are looking at. If the academic professor tells them about job market, they just laugh because they think they don't know anything. And again, uh, professors in IITs and all are there by choice. And type two, they are by chance. So I know, I mean, I hope you know the difference. So if even these people, they tried to get the big jobs and they couldn't and they settled down in teaching. So uh, we have to put efforts not only on the students, even on the staff, because it has to be through the staff, not, uh, you know, somebody, some CEO comes and, you know, try to implement things. It has to be done through the faculty. So... For those faculty, we need to train them first, you know, make them, you know, to talk about resumes, you know, and uh, we need to start skilling them right from the first year. And, uh, you know, they need to make the resume in the first year. Every year they need to update. It's not that, you know, in the final year, the company is coming, I make the resume. Every year they need to work on their resume, like, you know, what have, have I done this year? Okay, I have done this certification, for example, like Python certification, just put it in there. Uh, I have done the internship, just put it in there. See, that's how they need to work on the resume each year and uh, that way they'll be prepared and they know what they have put in. So we shouldn't do the last minute thing. Uh, you are getting all those last minute resumes, which is why you must be thinking, what is this happening? 